Hello and welcome. I'm Nafe42 and in this video I'm going to be putting together this cool car thing that I found on Thingiverse. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this is what this is. It's the gift card card, which um, I found on Thingiverse. Uh, it looks pretty cool uh, and it comes in the old fashioned way where you receive uh, models. Um, like from the days when you used to get like Warhammer, things like that, um, and model cars, this is all very familiar. It looks very similar, um, and yeah, I just thought it'd be pretty cool to actually try and assemble one of these and see how good or how it comes out. See, see how it does, shall we? Uh, I mean, it might be easier than I think to assemble. But this is something that has actually been free printed by me. Um, so, you know, maybe it will work. <laughs> maybe it won't. Maybe there's uh, issues with the strength of it. Maybe not. Who knows? Um, I did have a friend print one of these and they said that the spring broke. Um, which is not great. Because we need the spring. The spring, if you have a look on here, this is the spring. So, this. It does a twisty thing. It does a, one of these. And you can do that. Um, my friend printed this in uh, PLA. This one here is in ABS, and this one here is PET G. So hopefully, um, that will yield different results to what my friend received. Um, but hey, who knows? Maybe it will be the same. I hope it's not. <laughs> That's all I can say, really. Um, so yeah, I mean, these aren't too hard to get off of here. I wouldn't usually be uh, struggling with this, but I have restricted myself to, to two tools <laughs> for, the, for the making of this. And I, I'm just hoping that that's enough. Saying that, I do have a vast num number of tools around me. So um, like screwdrivers and stuff like that. So if required, I can revert to one of those instead. It's cool having the cogs on here. Um, I think the cogs are a nice addition to this project, or this product, whatever you're going to call it. Um, I like the idea of making things with cogs, but I've never really found a huge use for them um, in anything that I've made. Anyway, um, I guess it could have made some of my some of my models look a bit more steampunk <laughs> if I was to do it for oh man I might even do this on camera am I? I guess I could have made some of my my own made models a bit more steampunk looking which would have been pretty cool so we've got the wheels wheels I'm guessing this is back wheels I'm not entirely sure but we'll find out when we need to in fact, I don't even have the assembly instructions up or anything like that, so I might struggle with making this. Um, some of these were a bit weakened after the print. Uh, and I think that's a, a normal thing to happen sometimes with uh, ABS prints, especially, <laughs> especially since the filament that I'm using for this ABS is um, uh, well, I I received it with my Ana A8 printer, which um, I that that was a long time ago. That was probably two or three years ago now, which is weird to think because that's when my channel started to to grow. Really, is when I had my. Uh, in a printer. I was doing a lot of videos on that printer. Um, and it was a great printer as well. It was a good one. It served me pretty well.
Okay, so I've taken all the parts apart now. Sorry about, <laughs> about the ramblings. I realized that I can just, you know, fast forward through sections of video and that I don't have to talk for everything. Now, I don't actually know how uh, to put this all together. So, okay, so I have a very small diagram up on my phone here. This is how it all goes together. Um, so, let's try and assemble this as per the diagram. Okay, welcome back. So, I have assembled the toy. Um, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Well, I do quite like the colour scheme of it. It is quite nice. Orange, black. The cogs turn as this turns. Uh, 
if I hold it on this side here, put it back and forth, you can see that it turns everything, including this median thing here. Um, but also, oh, when you twist this, you can see the real power of the cog, uh, of the gear system, as it kind of really does kind of, oh, it's hard to turn, it's really hard to turn. I don't know why it's so hard to turn. Uh, I think maybe because it's so tight, um, it's, because when twisting that, it, te it does tense the spring. So the spring is now very tense. And get it even tenser. That's the tenser we go. Um, but it doesn't let go of that energy. That energy doesn't dissipate. Uh, oh, it does a little bit there. Maybe, I'm thinking maybe this one just needs a bit of wearing in. Uh, with As with like a lot of 3D printed stuff. Sometimes mechanical fixtures <laughs> don't uh, go as planned. Did I put something in wrong? Did I put the, the spring in upside down? I don't know. Actually, I probably, I, maybe I did. I don't think I did. There's the gearbox from the top. So as you can see, it is a bit of a wonk, um, but it would have been cool if there was maybe like a spacer here and uh, just like opposite spacers on the other side of this, just to keep the gears perfectly aligned in where they're supposed to be. But I mean, other than that, there's not really much else I can say about this. I mean, it's a, it is cool. It doesn't didn't work as well as you hoped, but I guess a lot of toys don't. Uh, uh, as as I twist this, you can see that this um, even the middle bit here is spinning with the wheels, and you can definitely tell that it does want to go. But I, I think maybe the whole wearing in of the wheels of the gears, sorry, is one thing that's holding it back a little bit. So, oh, oh, that's okay. If I try and twist the stick the other way. Ah, so, I mean, whoever made this probably knows ex like really well what they're doing in this uh, in this field of toy making because there is a little notch on the back of this cog thing here that, which uh, holds these in place uh, and what that does is it allows you to twist this in opposite direction without snapping it off so that, I mean there's, there's a, there are some pretty good stuff on this there is some pretty good stuff on this that um, is really good when it comes to toys or toy development. Unfortunately, as it's not actually working for me, should I recommend it to people? I probably shouldn't, but I, I will anyway, because it was, I mean, it was fun. It just reminds me of these old kits that you used to get. Um, maybe like, I don't know if Airfix used to do it, but the old model kits where you'd get them in this big plasticky um, grid thing like this. And you pick them out and you clean them up and then you can paint them if you really wanted to or you can do all this kind of stuff and yeah to me i really like that so yeah if you guys have been thanks for watching don't forget to comment and subscribe let me know what you think follow me on twitter that's at nf 42 and thanks for watching oh and happy christmas to all those who do celebrate